What's going on everybody? In today's video, we are checking out Home and Horses. <laughs> it sounds like it sounds like a magazine. Story like, time number one from Flor Jansen. It sounds like a magazine where you learn like where you have like home decor and also equestrian <laughs> stuff. Like you would find it like at Tractor Supply, they would have a magazine, <laughs> Home and Horses. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know? Right. Like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we did Flor Jansen interview and that opened the floodgates of people recommending all kinds of interviews. Also, and I love watching like, the, yeah, also, yeah, yeah yes. Behind also, the scene type stuff. We we're really into it. So I'm like, all right, cool. Let's do it. People like it. Let's do more of it. So here we go. People were like, you should check out. Everyone was like, you need to check out our YouTube channel. I already have. I'm already. You did? I'm already on. Yeah. You watched it? How have I? This No, I've not seen this video oh. or these videos. I'm okay. just saying, you know, I, this is. She's a vlogger. I, this is where I've pulled. I mean, this is where we saw Elon. This is where we saw Fire. That's how I found out about them. Those videos. They're from her channel. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I mean, I'm just telling you. Because yes. Okay. Yeah. So this is also on her channel. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but these were like vlogs that she did from 2020, like during oh, the whole lockdown that thing. That makes sense. You know, what else is she, like when it was like at the beginning, what else was she doing? Like obviously getting a vlog. Yeah, I think I think that's when they're from, I cool. think. So yeah, so we're going to check. We're going to check it out. If you're new here, please subscribe. Check out my videos, all kinds of videos, reaction videos, 9 a.m. And we do one at 4 p.m. every day. I got bass play alarms, live performances, advanced musician tips, all kinds of videos. Definitely check it out. In the description below, Amazon affiliate links to all things Nightwish. And Equestrian. Yes. And Tractor Supply. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and all kinds of other links and information. Definitely check out the description. All right, let's do this. Home and Horses story time number one. Okay, let's do this. Bam. <laughs> wow, a meadow. Cute. Welcome to Saturday Night Story Time, and welcome to episode. My name is Flor Janssen. I sing in a band called Nightwish and um, uh, as many artists I should be on tour right now, but I'm not. So that story is a bit untold. Yeah. Uh, hence the idea to create this story time to every now and then chat a little bit about what's happening, show my face even not on stage. Um, I miss the world outside this bubble I live in. I live in a beautiful bubble, but however, um, beautiful. It's um, it's weird to stay at home when well, yeah. you're so used to playing festivals this time of year. It's summer now. It's midsummer even. So yeah, I thought it would be a nice idea to share some stories with you. Stories about things that are happening in my life right now or maybe take you back in time and tell you some funny stories of back then. Um, I've never done this before, so it's a little bit new. Uh, I um, well, spend a lot of time at home at the moment, so I would like to have my first episode about home life. Uh, as just said, it's midsummer. Uh, that in Scandinavia is a big deal in the sense that the, there is a celebration for midsummer. We celebrate the longest day of the year uh, with most light. Um, since it gets really, really dark in the winter, it's good to celebrate the light and um, it's a good get together with friends and our family. Um, have good food, have a good drink, dance around a tree. <laughs> there are some habits that I'm getting used to. I'm Dutch, uh, I've been living in uh, the north for six years, the first year in Finland and then five years in, uh, in Sweden, now almost five years. I um, have to say Swedish was a little bit easier to learn than Finnish, which I never finished. <laughs> good joke, uh, you may laugh. <laughs> okay anyway um <laughs> midsummer is happening that's really enjoyable as you can see it's warm it's um, clo um dressed for for warm weather it's really really summery so that's just wonderful I'm enjoying that a lot and um well um one of the things i've been spending a lot of time on is um is um, horses horseback riding and uh, taking care of my horses 
in general um, what it means to have a horse uh, it, it's still pretty new for me uh, my first horse came a year ago and um, now I've got two, uh, Lily and Auri, and um, they've been Aww. here at home with us, um, uh, apart from the last few weeks all the time. It was wonderful, wonderful. Um, grass wasn't really growing as it's really dry, and I didn't know exactly what to do with my paddock. Do I need to fertilize, or what do I need to do to make the grass grow? Of course, rain would have helped. We don't have much of that. Anyway, nothing's really growing yet, and. Um, we have wonderful neighbors that said we have a paddock and plenty of grass so they're always welcome lovely to have them so they've been uh, there uh, the material you'll, uh, you'll be seeing from them is, is filmed over there it's just a beautiful almost unreal beautiful area where they've been uh, eating grass and eating grass and eating grass and just enjoying a beautiful scenery they've even had some interaction with uh, the locals, uh, lots of deer in the area, uh, elk also, uh, or moose, whatever word you prefer. And um, uh, there's a funny story also from my neighbor who witnessed uh, one of our horses, Auri, chasing one of the deers that were just probably sharing the paddock with them. So cute. And um, Auri is a very curious horse, so she was like, what kind of horse are you? And the deer must have thought that's the biggest, weirdest deer I've ever seen. It's maybe better I... <laughs> I go back into the woods. <laughs> I too bad I missed that moment. Um, yeah. So and uh, at home with us, uh, since the grass is not growing, I uh, decided that a part of a paddock can be a riding paddock, and so that's what they've been building for a couple of weeks already. Uh, they scrape away a bit of the uh, the dirt on the top, then it needs to dry, and then they put on other sand, and it's it's a whole process that uh, I'm also um, learning at the moment. Uh, of course, there are a hundred million ways to do this, also a little bit dependent on what you're going to do with it. And since I'm not going to be the ultimate dressage um, uh, rider, I just want to have a good time <laughs> with my ladies out there so we can train them properly. Um, and uh, well, it's going to be super lovely when it's done. I'll, I'll update you when, when, when we're there. Um, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I've been riding Lily since I got her. She was not ridden before, and so, um, but she's already nine uh, now. She became nine in, in January, so uh, it's a bit easier to train a horse that's a bit older. She was very easy to train, actually, um, especially given the fact that I had no experiences with that. So uh, we really uh, had to learn together. Uh, I already became three this year, and well, obviously I have a lot of time, so I decided to to start with her, uh, even though I thought I would do that a year later. But she's she's definitely ready. She's doing really really well. So uh, she's getting used to having a saddle on her back and having me on her back and um, um, listening to yeah our voice commands to uh, yeah learn how to be with us and we with her. It's wonderful. I refer to we. I have a neighbor uh, who has a riding paddock now and a very uh, experienced uh, teacher with horses. So she's she's been helping me. And it's just wonderful, uh, wonderful with those neighbors here in the area to uh, take care of the horses and, and enjoy them together. Really wonderful, wonderful time. And um, well, today I actually took them back, uh, back in, um, back home. They're going to be here for a little while now. Uh, also, because the weather is so warm, uh, it's nice for them to really be in a little bit of a cooler place if possible and to get some relief from all the bugs that really bug them. They're horrible. They come in all kinds of sizes. And sizes and they just bite them to bits <laughs> that's nature yeah. too but it's nice to uh, protect Great. them a little bit so now cute. that i can and uh, uh they're gonna get a little pedicure as well uh in case lily's hooves are just i don't know if you can see but it's they're so massive <laughs> so big so it's always a bit of work <laughs> yeah so those are the things that i've been doing um focusing on a lot lately uh, yet again of course i'm a musician to do without music. Uh, I miss playing and being with Nightwish very, very much. I miss interacting with you guys as I usually do, screaming on a stage and not sitting here in my own house in front of the camera. But um, th this will have to do for a little while longer, I suppose. Um, however, the musician in me um, is really a constant. It's, it's there, so I, I cannot say that I'm not making any music. But what that really means is for an story another time. Thank you for this 
first episode. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> so majestic. I can't believe she has two. Cool. Yeah. Okay, horses and home. There's much more about horses. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Not really so much. I mean, I guess a little bit about like the horse's home. It was kind of more about the horse's home than the, than hers. But mm -hmm. um, you know, I I I get it. You know. <clears throat> being home oh yeah you know? of that time yeah the time period yeah. so i mean yeah she's got two horses <laughs> <laughs> i'm surprised that they're at her house usually when people have horses they have them they pay rent like at a stable mm -hmm. and then they just go to the horse unless they have a whole horse set up but it seems like she's working on that yeah that's what it sounds like yeah. also i'm yeah but i'm also yeah. surprised she has two and one of them i don't remember i don't know which one's which but yeah one of them did have really huge Oops. I didn't notice. I thought it was cool. Um, story time one. Lots of horses. That was boring for you or something? <laughs> I don't know. There wasn't... He doesn't care about meadows and horses. I mean, it's nice to see. You know, it is. It's nice to see. I'm like, okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. And that's over. You know? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Cool. Horses. And yeah. then she hinted that she was working on her you know, solo stuff, right? I didn't really get that. She was like, I can't say that I haven't been working on music. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. But that's a story for another time. Right. Yeah, sure. Seems yeah. like she was in the, that's what she was doing. She was hinting at music. That she was making music. Yeah, yeah. She's yeah. by herself, so she's not making Nightwish music. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. You think they're on Zoom <laughs> making Nightwish music? Who knows? I thought she was hinting at her solo project. That's what I thought. Yeah, okay. yeah I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I'm I, like digging for other things to say. I'm like, I don't know that I have other things to say. It looks like she's got a nice big property. We like oh, that. Yeah. The land, open land like that. We love that. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. That's the first one. We'll check out more. Maybe there'll be more, more for me to dig into. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> On the next one. If you're new here, please subscribe. Check out my videos. I got reaction videos. 9 a.m. We do one at 4 p.m. every day. I got bass play alongs, live performances, bands, musician tips, all kinds of videos. Definitely check it out. In the description below, Amazon affiliate links to all things Nightwish. Lots of different links and information. Definitely check it out. Thanks for watching. We'll check in the next video. Bye.